So here's how you install some tires. I have some Maxxis Grifter tires that I bought on the last live stream to upgrade my bike with. And um, so yeah, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install these tires, how to put them on, and um, I'll show you some secret tips that I learned over the last 13 years of riding to make this process a little bit easier. You don't have to use tire levers. I'll show you how. All right, so let's throw on these momentums. The first thing we need to do is we need to get them out of here. And you wonder, why are you holding this giant Allen wrench? Well, <laughs> when I was opening the box during the live stream, I didn't have a knife. I still don't have a knife. I'm down here in the garage. So this is the closest thing I've got to a knife. What we're gonna do with the zip tie, is we're just gonna pry it and hopefully we can, oh no, this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. I thought we could just like snap it, but this is a pretty hefty zip tie. Maybe we can just kind of wiggle it off. Yeah, we'll just wiggle it off the tire there. Okay, got the zip tie off. Now we're good. These are the tires. This is how they unwrap, unfold up. And uh, it's kind of, honestly, makes me a little bit nervous. I don't think I've ever ridden foldable tires or folding tires. And it just seems like the whole tire is a little flimsy because of that, you know? Like, this is sloppy floppy. You can't do that with, with normal tires. Here, look, let me see non-foldable new Colt vans, not flimsy. Brand new $40 Maxxis grifters, <laughs> flimsy as hell. I don't know how I feel about that, but I mean, I guess once they're inflated, as long as the bead's good. All right, bike is on the stand and we're gonna pop off the wheels so that we can replace, actually, I wanna build up a lighter wheel set. I have my other wheel set over there that's got profiles on it. So what you need to do next is you need to grab your street, your park wheel set and take off your old tires. Now we need to deflate these so we can pull off these tires. And so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna just find our valve stem. We're gonna put something up against it to let out all the air. Make sure you get all of the air out because if you're having trouble getting your tire off the rim, it's probably because there's a little bit of air in there. You wanna make sure you get all of that air out. And I do that by like pushing down right above the valve stem and then pushing my wheel up against my leg or up against the ground. You can also roll your arm over it to push even more out. You just wanna get every last drop. Next, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna set this on the ground or on your arm or something like that and grab a part of the tire. You want it to be on the other side of the valve stem. So my valve stem's right here. We're gonna grab the tire, we're gonna pull up, and then we're gonna push it over and out. So if you can see this, we're gonna grab it, pull up, and then push really hard. And what that did is it got the bead popped off. So the beads popped off, and now we can just kind of pull a little bit farther and force the whole thing off. There's almost too much air in here still, but anyway, that's how you get that first half off. You do the same thing for the second half. You go the same direction. Just lift up so that you can start to see how it's separating from the rim and then just grab the tire and pry it off. Okay, super simple. Got the tire off. Now we're gonna pop out our oversized tube. Okay, and don't need that. Now some people are silly and they put their tube on the rim first. I think that's a terrible idea. What you need to do is you need to get your tube and you need to put it inside your new tire. God, these are way lighter. So just taking off that momentum tire and then grabbing this thing, this is crazy light. This is gonna make my bike so much lighter, it's insane. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set my rim somewhere and feed my tube into my tire. Just like that. And you'll see here, like this isn't good because there's too much air in my tube. So I'm just gonna use my fingernail and try and get out a little bit more air. Sometimes you can't get it with your fingernail, I'm surprised. Fingernail's not that long, is it? I don't know. Anyway, it's working. You don't want um, too much air in your tube or you're gonna pinch it when you're installing it. And now, to be fair, the momentum's a wider tire, and so it might inflate, or you know, naturally inflate. Now, here's something really important to consider. This tire is directional, meaning that the way it's designed is to go in a certain direction. The other tire is not. So when we put this on, I've gotta make sure 
that this is left-hand drive. So this is the way that the wheel's gonna be rolling, is that way, okay? And I need to make sure that my tire is facing the, say, the correct direction. So the way I have it, this is the right way, but if you're unsure, you can look along the side and it's gonna say, rotation. So this is gonna be hard to see. I don't know if you can see it. But like right there where my thumb is at, or? I don't know. Anyway, it's gonna say rotation with an arrow pointing the way the rotation goes. And so my arrow is pointing this way, meaning it's gonna roll this way. So this is the right way, because this is the wheel, way my hub's gonna roll. On your front wheel, it doesn't matter as much unless you have pegs and you know a certain situation. So see, I almost flipped it around and put it on, but that's, that's wrong. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the hole for your valve stem right here and you're gonna put the valve stem inside of the hole. That is the first thing to do. Don't do anything else. Put the valve stem in the hole like this, and once the valve stem's in the hole, you're, you're off to a great start. So you've gotta get the outside of this bead on over the rim first, and the way that I'm gonna do that is by holding it this way. Even though we're trying to get this, we're not trying to get this side yet, we're trying to get this side back here, but by pushing the whole tire over, we're gonna be able to do that, and so I'm gonna, start to work my way around it with my hand, squeezing it and pulling that bead over the rim. And if you're really strong, like I look pretty strong in this, this angle, you can pop it over all the way and you're not gonna have too much of a problem. So you see how I'm grabbing it? You wanna grab it right where, so it's already over here, but it's not quite over here. So I wanna grab it about right here and pull it over, just inch by inch, pry it over just a little bit. Ooh, this is gonna get tough, Never mind. This is why people use tire lever. God, it's gonna be so embarrassing if I can't get it. <laughs> um, the other thing to do here is make sure that the rest of it is kind of seated in the center. If it's catching on something, you're gonna have a really hard time. If it's not catching, it's gonna make it quite a bit easier. So we're just gonna keep going, pry it just a little by little. I don't think you can tell in the video, but it's going, you know, it's going. It's, it takes a lot of grip strength to get it. But this is a lot, in my opinion, so there, we just got it. This is a lot easier than fiddling around with tire levers. I hate tire levers. It never works out for me like it should, but you know, to each their own. Now we're gonna do the same thing. Starting at the valve stem, you're gonna just push it over, but then push it down to seat it. So you see how I'm pushing it down right now is I'm pushing that bead back behind the rim. If you don't, chances are it's gonna pop back out and you're just gonna be going in circles. So pushed it down, now I'm working my way out, popping it over. It's gonna get, it's gonna be really easy for the first like three quarters. And then when it starts to stretch, it's gonna get pretty tough. Okay, so I'm just pushing it in this way and prying that bead over the rim. Wow, okay, that was too easy, honestly. Um, there you go. That first one's on, it looks wonderful, actually. I like the bright yellow, I think that's kind of a cool, Cool match. Um, so yeah, first one's on, that was pretty easy. So what I like to do when I'm putting on new tires is pump it up to about 10, 15 PSI, and then look around the bead and see if it's coming undone at all. Some wider tires, like sometimes this happens with Momentums or other low price tires, you'll see that it starts to pop off and you wanna catch it at 10 PSI if that's happening because at 10 PSI it won't blow up. At 60, 70, 80, it's gonna blow up and you don't wanna blow up a tube for no reason. Now we're gonna pump it up to about 70. Bounce test it. Ooh. That wasn't a very good one, but all right, it's good. Let's throw these on the bicycle. 